In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import the demo data into the Creativo team. First step, we need to log into our WordPress dashboard. Enter your username and password. Okay, so we are now on your WordPress dashboard. Um, the first thing we need to do is actually um, install the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, so unless you already have it installed, please go to plugins, install plugins, make sure the WooCommerce plugin is not there, click on add new button and type WooCommerce. Click on search plugins. And as you can see, the first result is actually the plugin we are interested in. Click on install now. OK. The installation process begins. You just need to wait a few seconds until uh, the plugin uh, is actually installed. Of course, a uh, confirmation message successfully installed the plugin and we need to activate the plugin. This, um, this will uh, actually um, render a, a message on top of your screen informing that we are almost ready to start selling but we need to install the WooCommerce pages. We don't need to do this because uh, our demo content already has uh, WooCommerce pages uh, uh, integrated so let's uh, just click on uh, skip setup for now right so we are just about ready to um, start the importing uh, content process but um, we need we need a file that will serve us uh, for the importing process please go to appearance team options and click on document documentation as you can see there is a link that would, uh, will um, take you to the latest updated doc online documentation for the creativo team click on this link and um, try to search for this tab here the demo data tab and click it read the first paragraph paragraph that tells us um, that to benefit from the latest demo data, please visit the following link and download the latest package. Okay, so click on this link. And as you can see, there is a uh, gzip file, which we need to save, not open. Save it somewhere on your hard drive and call it creative or demo data, just as it is. Save. Okay. Uh, you can close this tab head back to your WordPress dashboard let's go to tools import uh, we need to choose WordPress click on install now and this will uh, actually install the WordPress importer plugin which is needed um, in order to import the demo data okay activate the plugin and run the importer click on this link Right, so we need to click on Browse now, navigate to the file you just downloaded, in my case Creativo uh, Demo Data, select it, click Open, and now click on the Upload File and Import button. Next, you need to either create a new uh, user with login name, or you can assign all this uh, demo content to an existing, existing um, uh, user which I'm going to do select the admin and very important make sure you select the download and import file attachments this will actually import all the images that we need if you uh, will not check this box you will uh, import everything but the images which is mostly in my opinion the most important part of course uh, okay so click on submit This will actually take a few seconds, even minutes. So don't get alarmed if this is taking too, uh, too much. It's perfectly normal. 
once uh, once everything uh, is uh, is imported you will receive a confirmation uh, message if uh, for uh, any reasons you get any error like a uh, 500 internal server error just click on the back button and uh, try to redo the importing process you will eventually um, finish installing the demo content uh, without uh, that nasty error right so as you can see the import process uh, has been completed all done all done have fun <laughs> this is a nice message from wordpress uh, let's uh, let's see how our site looks like now click on this visit site a new tab okay so um, everything seems to be all right the content has has been imported uh, don't worry about this this is actually uh, the menus and um, it's acting like this because uh, we haven't actually set the menu as being primary um, let's let's just click on this post see how it goes okay you can see the post looks nice right let's go back to our home page and uh, let's do something about this menu which is really not looking great at all um, close this head back to your wordpress dashboard go to appearance and menus now as you can see our menu um, has been created all the pages are here you can delete this um, menu items and add your own uh, change these uh, pages whatever you want change the name uh, change the link of these pages and uh, so on but the most important part is um, scroll down to the bottom of your screen and make sure that in, in team locations you check this box that will make um, our menu as the primary menu click save menu again uh, let's see our site in a new tab and voila as you can see the menu is now uh, well organized and it's um, actually looking very cool uh, okay so the next next thing um, i'm going to show you is how to actually uh, set the home page uh, that we have uh, on our demo uh, page rocky temps uh, dash creativo for that you need to go to menus and settings uh, no we no longer need the menu uh, page active so go to settings and reading uh, select for the front page displays a static page and for the front page let's uh, scroll down until you see the home uh, the home page select it and just click save changes head back to your site refresh and as you can see uh, our front page is uh, now pointing to the home page uh, which is actually looking very nice all this has been created with the help of the visual composer elements um, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how uh, this uh, home page was actually created and how to properly uh, import the demo slider that you see on our pages. Okay, thank you for watching.